you know, all the time I go out and I think, where am I going to find a home site? It's amazing how many of them are just out on all these ranches and stuff that everybody's just forgotten about. Anyways, <clears throat> never been here before. Just found this. Um, God, we got another nice November day. There's the foundation. And then if you look back up on the mountain, there's the cellar hole. And of course, this is just nice grazing land. You know, whenever you see these bald hills, there's probably a home site. Anyways, I'm going to suit up and uh, see what we can get. All right, first target right in front of the foundation. Got ourselves a piece of a clock. Man, we might have found a virgin site, guys. Here's a harmonica reed. Look, there's the clock. There's a harmonica reed. That's just two massive high tones right next to each other, so this might be a virgin site. Well, I got something interesting here. I don't know what. Let me clean this up and see if I can make anything out of it. A lot of writing on it. I'm not sure what this is, though. I don't know if it's a big token. Pendant. Maybe it's like a metal. You know, it's very interesting. It says the Patterson hat. It mostly just says the Patterson all over. It says Patterson guaranteed. It's like a little crown. So maybe this is something that came on your cowboy hat when you bought it? I don't know. It's my best guess right now. Of course, I have no clue. This is guessing. What do you guys think that thing is? I've never seen anything like that yet. It's cool. Yeah, I would say this has never been dug before. Man, there's targets everywhere. There's a spoon bowl. This is going to be awesome. I can't wait. We are going to find something good today, guys. We got something around. Oh, watch part. More harmonica reed. And I've been getting a lot of clock parts I haven't been showing you and watch parts. Yeah, there's no way there could be this many high tones, and this has been dug before. All right, there's my first really good relic. It's a beautiful suspender clip. Look at that, plated. Yeah, I've got these security ones before, but this is definitely my nicest one ever. That thing's in pristine shape. Look at that. Dang. I got some sort of sign here. I love getting these. Port Arthur Route Brakeman. Oh. I have to figure out what that means. Brakeman? Does that have something to do with the train? You know, I don't you know normally show this many harmonica reads, so this is getting crazy. There's also one I didn't show you. Oh, another beautiful one. Dang. This is some pretty hardware today. Dang. I love the suspender clips. They always have such character. So many varieties. More suspender. There we go. Looks like we got an old uh, general service button right there. Yeah. Well, it's a weird back. Maybe that was more like for a collar or something. Looks like it's got more like a stud on it than, a, <clears throat> than being a button. Awesome. So there's a pocket watch back. I don't usually show these, but this one's this one's actually got gold gilt. They're usually silver. I don't think I've ever got a gold one before. Look at that. I found the other part of the pocket watch. And that is pretty. That is plated. Oh, wow. Look at the detail on that. That is a lot of gold plating left. Well, that's a fancy escutcheon of some kind. That was deep. I got a spoon here. What is going on? Is that a gold gilled spoon? Heck. 
<laughs> Crazy. Now that's something I don't get a lot of. I mean, I have a few, but hem weight. Hold down the ladies' dresses. That's really cool. I usually don't get those at home sites. Usually in town when I do old houses. And this was laying right next to the hem weight. Sort of super pretty clip. Hey. Yeah, I don't know. What kind of clip? It open? It does open. Look at the flower pattern on that sucker. So some fancy pants people. I mean, that's not silver, but <clears throat> it is silver plated. Oh my. What's that? You know, I was just thinking, I can't believe I haven't got a coin yet. And look at that. I think I got one. What do I got? That is a V-nickel. Boy, the back is beautiful. Let me clean up the front and see if I can get a year. So it's a 1912, and it's in such good shape, I can actually read the Liberty on the headband or whatever. Wow, what a beautiful coin. And helps us date the site. I mean, most of these sites that I do are late 1800s, early 1900s. So that's about what you expect. Awesome. <laughs> I have no idea what this is going to be. That <laughs> is something fancy. <laughs> Dang, so fancy. <laughs> what the heck is that thing? <laughs> I don't know. we will be keeping that though. Kind of a cool little showpiece. I don't know what that is. Dang. Huh. Now that's what I'm talking about. Let's see, this is going to be cool. Imperial. Let's see if I can get the sun on. Imperial Union. Oh, that one's beautiful. Yep. Gotta love those suspenders. Especially when you get one you've never seen. I've never seen that one. It's a cool one for my collection, man. Hmm. Another shiny suspender clip. Well, that suspender looks like it has like a bow pattern on it. Well, I made it to the cellar hole. But unfortunately, I think I've about wore this place out. Hey, I hope you like that. A lot of cool relics, did get a coin. Man, some stuff I don't even know what it is. <laughs> Which is always the fun part, because then I get to look it up. Uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.